let us discuss a problem on variances of x, y and x plus y variables relation with the coefficient correlation between the x and y. The problem is how to show that small r is equal to sigma x plus y square minus sigma x square minus sigma y square by 2 sigma x sigma y where small r is equal to coefficient correlation between x and y sigma x square sigma y square sigma x plus y square are the variances of x comma y and x plus y respectively okay first we know the definitions of the variances of the individual variables and also coefficient correlation formula. Here we have sigma x square is equal to summation xi minus x bar whole square by n. And simply we can take it as sigma x square by n where sigma x equal to or where x bar equal to xi minus x bar, okay? Here not x bar, here capital X equal to xi minus x bar. Similarly, variance of the y variable that is nothing but sigma y square equal to summation yi minus y bar whole square by n that is sigma y square by n where capital Y is equal to yi minus y bar and the sigma x plus y square equal to summation xi minus x bar plus yi minus y bar whole square by n. Okay, that is equal to sum of x plus y whole square by n. Okay, next and also we can take the coefficient correlation. Coefficient correlation small r is equal to or r of x comma y is equal to coefficient correlation between x and y variable summation x y by under root of sum of x square into sum of y square that is equal to sum of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar by sigma x sigma y. Okay, this is the formula. Why? Because sigma x square is equal to from this it is sigma xy means xi minus x bar yi minus y bar by sigma x square equal to sigma x square by n means it is under root of sigma x square equal to here small sigma x square we are getting the sigma x and here sigma y here root n, root n means n. Here also we are getting the n, n, n get cancelled. Okay, that is nothing but here we are taking sigma of n into sigma x, sigma y. Why? Because here no, sig no n, but here we are getting the n sigma x, sigma y. Okay. Next here we are taking sigma x plus y square equal to summation xi minus x bar plus yi minus y bar whole square by n. Okay. It is equal to summation xi minus x bar whole square plus by n summation yi minus y bar whole square by n plus two summation 
xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar by n. It is sigma x plus y square equal to, this is the by the definition of the variance sigma x square plus sigma y square plus here from this, from this, r sigma x sigma y is equal to summation xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar by n. Okay, this is equal to r sigma x sigma y. So in this place, summation xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar by n, we can write it as 2r sigma x sigma y. So these are taking to left side, that is sigma x plus y square minus sigma x square minus sigma y square is equal to 2r sigma x sigma y. And the coefficient correlation small r is equal to sigma x plus y square minus sigma x square minus sigma y square by 2 sigma x sigma y. This is the relation of the coefficient to correlation of x and y variables with the variances of the individual x, y, x plus y. Okay, it is important. Second problem, show that if ui and vi are the deviations of variables xi and vi, that is nothing but ui equal to xi minus x bar, vi equal to yi minus y bar, or deviations with their respective means. Deviations of the variables xi and yi from their respective means. Okay, next we can prove that first one is to show that small r is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 capital N summation i equal to 1 to N ui by sigma x minus vi by sigma y whole square. Okay, second one is r equal to minus 1 plus 1 by 2 n sigma i equal to 1 to n ui by sigma x plus vi by small sigma y whole square. Third one deduce that minus 1 is less than or equal to r is less than or equal to 1. First of all, we have the variance values or standard deviations. We have sigma x square is equal to summation xi minus x bar whole square by capital N and sigma y square equal to summation yi minus y bar whole square by capital N. These are related in the coefficient correlation what we can show that. Okay, first we can take the 1 by N summation i equal to 1 to N ui by sigma x minus vi by sigma y whole square. Okay, it is equal to 1 by n is common for that whole. It is a minus b whole square. It's a square summation i equal to 1 to n ui square by sigma x square minus or plus sigma i equal to 1 to n vi square by sigma y square minus 2 sigma i equal to 1 to n ui vi by sigma x sigma y. Okay, that is 2 ab. For 2, summation is there. I wrote only common. Next here, we know that ui is equal to, that is is equal to 1 by n into summation i equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar whole square 
by sigma x square plus summation i equal to 1 to n y i minus y bar whole square by sigma y square plus 2 sorry minus 2 summation i equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar by sigma x sigma y this n is right outside and the sigma x square value is the variance that is the constant right outside 1 by sigma x square summation i equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar whole square by capital n plus 1 by sigma y square summation i equal to 1 to n y i minus y bar whole square by capital n minus 2 by sigma x sigma y summation i equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar by n okay we know that we know that sigma x square equal to summation i equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar whole square by n sigma y square equal to summation i equal to 1 to n y i minus y bar whole square by capital N and the coefficient correlation small r is equal to summation x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar by capital N into sigma x sigma y. So by the cross multiplication here small r sigma x sigma y or we can write it as equal to summation x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar by capital N. These values substitute here it is equal to 1 by sigma x square into sigma x square plus 1 by sigma y square into sigma y square minus 2 by sigma x sigma y into it is equal to r sigma x sigma y these are get cancelled it is cancelled it is cancelled it is equal to 1 plus 1 minus 2 r so 2 minus 2 r so 2 minus 2 r in the 2 is common 1 minus r okay we can take the left hand side 1 by n summation i equal to 1 to capital n ui by sigma x minus vi by sigma y whole square is equal to 2 into 1 minus r from this 1 minus r equal to 1 by 2 capital n summation i equal to 1 to n ui by sigma x minus vi by sigma y whole square okay this r is taking to right side r equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 capital n summation i equal to 1 to n u i by sigma x minus v i by sigma y whole square it is the first one second one is to show that small r is equal to minus 1 plus 1 by 2 capital N summation i equal to 1 to N u i by sigma x plus v i by sigma y whole square. Here we are taking 1 by capital N summation i equal to 1 to N u i by sigma x plus v i by sigma y whole square equal to 1 by N into summation i equal to 1 to n ui by sigma x and that is nothing but ui square by sigma x square plus summation i equal to 1 to n vi square by sigma y square plus 2 summation i equal to 1 to n ui vi by sigma x sigma y 
and we can write 1 by sigma x square into 1 by n summation i equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar square plus 1 by sigma y square summation i equal to 1 to n yi minus y bar square by capital N plus 2 by sigma x sigma y summation i equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar by capital N. And we know that from the standard deviations or variances 1 by sigma x square into sigma x square plus 1 by sigma y square into sigma y square plus 2 sigma x sigma y by the coefficient correlation r sigma x sigma y. These are cancelled. Then 1 plus 1 plus 2 r that is equal to 2 plus 2 r. 2 is taking common 1 plus r that is equal to 1 by capital N summation i equal to 1 to capital N ui by sigma x plus vi by sigma y whole square from this 1 plus r is equal to 1 by 2 capital N summation i equal to 1 to N ui by sigma x plus vi by sigma y whole square so r equal to minus 1 plus 1 by 2 n summation i equal to 1 to n ui by sigma x plus vi by sigma y whole square it is the second proof third one is from 1 r is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 n summation i equal to 1 to n ui by sigma x plus vi by sigma y whole square and from the 1 it is clearly less than or equal to 1 okay why because 1 minus this value we can sub subtract then we are getting it is less than or equal to 1 from 2 small r is equal to minus 1 plus 1 by 2 n summation i equal to 1 to capital n ui by sigma x plus vi by sigma y whole square it is greater than or equal to minus 1 so from these two we can write it as minus 1 is less than or equal to small r small r is less than or equal to 1 from 1 and 2 we are getting minus 1 is less than or equal to small r is less than or equal to 1 why because minus 1 subtracting with some small positive value then we are getting the one value that is greater than of minus 1 why because this is a negative minus 1 is greater than of minus 2 why because minus 2 in a number line minus 2 minus 1 so which is the small value is there that is the greater comparing with the negative of the 1 okay from that relation we are getting the minus 1 is less than or equal to r is less than or equal to 1 this is also very important 